Prefect is a workflow orchestration tool for building and configuring data pipelines powered by an open source Python framework. It also pairs with Prefect Cloud, which is a console for observing and responding to your workflows and ensuring that they all work as expected. With Prefect, you can see across all of your pipelines and know when something doesn't meet your expectations. The first step you'll wanna take is connecting your local environment to your Prefect Cloud setup. And the command you'll wanna to run to do that is Prefect Cloud Login. And when you run this command, you're gonna be hit with two options. You can either log in through the web browser or paste an API key. In this case, I'll show you the simple way to log in with a web browser. Once you make that selection, you'll be met with this pop-up screen to enter your email and authenticate directly through the web. And this will send you a magic link to your email and you can either click the link directly in the email or enter a code, which I'll do here. And just like that, you're authorized with your Prefect Cloud environment. So you can close this window and identify the workspace that you wanna use. Here you can see we are authenticated with Prefect Cloud. And now we can move on to actually building our workflows. Let's say I have an example script that I want to orchestrate. In this case, it's very simple. We're just hard coding some values, but with Python, you can get as complex and intricate as you want. To turn this into something you can use with Prefect, all you need to do is import the Prefect module and add a decorator. For example, we'll use the flow decorator. Flows are the most basic Prefect objects and one of the most important concepts you'll wanna be familiar with as you use it. They work very similarly to a function. They take inputs, perform work, and return an output, which is what we're doing in our example here as well. And by simply adding this flow decorator to your Python functions, you get a few advantages. For example, it's going to recognize different states and report it to the API. You can input different argument types that can be validated. You can handle retries, you can set timeouts, and a whole lot of other things that are really helpful by just simply adding that flow decorator. Now, when I run this script, I get some basic output from Prefect itself. And if I go to my Prefect Cloud workspace, I can see it logged it here as well. And if I go to the dashboard view, you can see that it logged some helpful information here as well. Now, most of the time you'll be working with multiple functions. So let's make something a little bit more complicated. In this case, now we have one main flow, which is executing multiple tasks within it. Now, if I run this script here, we'll see it will go through again, create a new run for us, and we can even monitor this on Prefect Cloud itself and see in real time exactly what's happening and data around it. And then again, we can go to our dashboard for more information on all of this together and be able to see it all from one place. And lastly, you can turn your functions into resilient schedule pipelines using a very simple deployment workflow. The first step is to initialize your project and you can pick based on a few pre-built recipes. This creates a project file that you can use to build your deployments. For example, we'll create ETL deploy at an entry point. And all you need to do now is run prefect deploy and you'll follow a very simple wizard to get it pushed to prefect cloud. You can also create a schedule directly from this wizard. So if we select yes here, we can decide if we want it to run on an interval, on a cron job, an R rule, which are reoccurrence rules. In our case, we'll do interval and say we want it to run every 60 seconds, so every minute. Here we'll stick with the local process, but there are a variety of different infrastructures that you could use, in particular working on the cloud. And just like that, we have our deployment ready to go and we can start running it however we want. So if we go back now to our Prefect Cloud workspace, we can see we have this deployment here. And if we click in here, we can see we have a bunch of auto scheduled runs that would run every minute going forward because that's the schedule that we set. And with regards to deployments, in addition to simply scheduling them, you can also set them up based on triggers for workflows. You can have different work queues and specify runtime infrastructure, like I mentioned for Kubernetes or perhaps in the cloud. You can also define storage location with deployments, which would allow it to look at a remote location like GitHub or a cloud storage bucket for your actual run code. There's a lot you can do with deployments and using it all together with Prefect Cloud allows it to be easily managed and run for your team. So hopefully now you can see how easy it is to get up and running with Prefect and how you can use the Prefect Cloud environment to monitor and maintain your workflows as a team from one central location.